Now let's take a look at this top here. This is our uh, digital airway pressure manometer. And you can see that it rises with each breath. This orange dot, which we'll take a closer look in a second, is your high pressure limit. And then down here, you see your settings for uh, PEEP. Okay, PEEP is four, and we see two boxes, and also the indicator light. And let's go to a closer view here. Okay, up in the uh, top left corner, if the patient inspires, you should see a light, but since we have our sensitivity turned off, it is in a control mode. I'm going to turn that sensitivity on to uh, uh, just two of uh, negative two, and now the patient breathes. You see the sensitivity light will come on. Eat with each breath they call it the effort and so then here is our our um, our uh, manometer you can see it starts with zero in the middle and goes down to negative 20 and then goes in units of 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, okay? And so we have now, that is our digital pressure monitoring. Okay, now the, f the first section we have in, uh, in this is the mode section, and we have two blank mode controls, and then on the bottom you have assist control, SIMV, and CPAP. So that's this section right here, and in that section, or just outside of it, is that monitor select button. And now you have your alarm section right here, and the alarm section is these four alarms and then a fifth one that allows you to uh, uh, add something in the future which has never happened and also then you have your silence button and, and a reset also you know, above it you'll see it says uh, ventilator in op let's take a closer look on those parameters okay here you can see your settings uh, the mode settings and then you see low pressure alarm, high pressure alarm, low minute volume, high breath rate, the blank one, and then you see here vent in op, which is not lit, and silence or, and reset. So if we hit silence, you have, uh, I believe, uh, two to three minutes of silence. And you can reset that and take that off at any time. So let's take a look here. In the uh, control section, we have tidal volume, breath rate, we have peak flow, sensitivity, and that right now is turned off, and we have PEEP CPAP, and also pressure support, which is turned off. And we have a last one, which is unidentified, and that's just additions in the event something else comes uh, available. Okay, now let's go to the second row. And here you can see we have O2, and we also have two others, which uh, are unlabeled and uh, not functioning. Um, then we have the control knob, which you rotate, you press in and rotate. You have uh, the lock function, which is a very simple uh, maneuver. You simply press that, and you see it's lit up, and now the panels are locked, and you can't make any changes. Remove it, and simply press in. Not a real fancy lock mechanism, but it does prevent accidental changes of the settings. Okay, moving along the bottom of the second line, we have the in-story pause and 
Also, uh, on some ventilators, you will see extor pause, and then this last one, which is for um, additional functions. And now we're going to look at the bottom row of controls, and that includes a side breath control, a manual breath control, also a remote alarm uh, switch, as well as square wave and VAPS uh, ventilation. And on the right side of this uh, bottom row, you can see we have the button for in-story hold, X-story hold, also a button so that you can measure MIP, 100% oxygen, as well as the flow calibration button. Well, that does it for the T-Bird controls, and I hope that was helpful for you in operating this machine.